So this one, I spent most of my uh, junior rugby at St. Mary's. It's probably where I had all my best memories. We had a good team. I think we, we won the Gloucester Cup a few times, the Bristol Cup. I think this picture here was uh, actually at the Mem. At under 16s, a lot of our a lot of our team, half our team went to Filton, half team went to Hartbury. So we couldn't really fulfill our under 17s side. So we sort of folded. But halfway through a second year, we got together for like a reunion game. And uh, one of our old teammates passed away, unfortunately. So it was almost like a, a game for him as well. So yeah, we got lucky enough to play at the Mem. And yeah, that was my last junior game for St. Mary's. Well, being at a few clubs at the combination, and got to know a lot of people and uh, playing at a lot of clubs. I think I've, I think I've been to every combination ground. And that's one of the things that motivates me uh, when I play at Ashton Gate, when I see people, uh, not just South Weed, St. Mary's people, if I see people wearing combination clothing, I, I put it in for them as well. well. This one here is a special picture for me. Like I said, I'm a South Weed boy. And growing up, they never had a kids section, so I had to wait a very long time to play for them. Uh, my dad was a big part of me, of my rugby growing up. He pushed me all the way. I think I actually quit rugby for football. I used to think I was good at football, but I wasn't. And he pushed me towards rugby again. And yeah, I think this was at the end of my first year at college. I thought if I didn't play for South Speed now, I won't for a while if things go to plan. So yeah, this is a, I think this is South Speed seconds against, I can't remember who it was against now. It was Southby's second team, and then I got to play with my dad, which was a special moment, and I got that round the house. And he's been a big influence on me in my whole career. Uh, this is uh, me playing for Fulton College in my second year, I think. Uh, it's a St. Joe's Festival. Uh, we got to the final on this one, and uh, we lost. We won't talk about that. Anyway, uh, Fulton College was uh, probably the, the beginning of me thinking and believing myself that I could make it my dream playing for Bristol. Obviously, we had Mike Hall. Uh, Matt Sherrett coming to every game, giving you feedback and they let you know that if you work hard it could happen. So yeah, f my, from my second year I think I was vice captain I think. So yeah, I put it on myself each game to try and be the best player on the pitch and every game I was looking over to Michael and, and Matt Sherrett to see if they were impressed or not, everything I'd done. It was all, Filton College was all about trying to make that step into Bristol Rugby and I think if it weren't for Filton College I don't think I would have made that step. So yeah, I got a lot to thank for Filton. Yeah, this was uh, my beginning of my proper senior rugby. Um, if anyone knows about Dings, you you, you, you sink or swim there, and <laughs> I think that was the best. That's the best club I could have went to. Uh, my first year at Bristol, I probably had my most enjoyable season of rugby at the Dings. Uh, they made me feel very welcome. Within a couple of months, I felt like I was there for a lifetime because they made me feel so welcome there. I played in some memorable games there. We were always the underdogs, but I enjoyed that being an underdog and like fighting against the world sort of mentality and um, we had a very tight group there to be honest and yeah that was a big part of uh, where I am now and I can't thank Dean's enough and I still go down there when I can to support them because I got a few mates there and uh, yeah friends for life down there. Yeah I think this is the around the age where I first started uh, getting a few appearances for Bristol. It was obviously a, a, a big time for me. Yes, yeah, so obviously this season when I first started putting on a Bristol shirt in the A-League and I made my champ debut in the season as well. It was a big stepping stone for me because obviously I was part of the system for I think it was two years before I actually uh, put on the first team shirt. And all of a sudden I was playing being like Cup, A-League and now and again champ. It all happened pretty quick. So this season is probably the most memorable season I had. And it gave me a lot of confidence as well to, uh, to get where I am now. And yeah, to play against players, in the, say against premiership players in the A-League whilst you're a young boy in the championship is a... Uh, was pretty, was pretty good and uh, we were pretty lucky at that time. I think this was um, two seasons ago, promotion year, I think. So yeah, I, I, I especially make sure I go around and see all the fans and most of the times I'm one of the last in the change rooms. So I might miss a few seconds of the meeting, but that's, <laughs> but that's what i got to do. Obviously growing up, I was, I was those kids growing up. So um, I remember being a young lad, I actually got Sean Morrison's boots after a game. And, and now he's my coach, so yeah, I always got time for the for the young fans, and yeah, uh, I think Philly can come one day and put on the jersey too. Oh, this day was a, was a brilliant day. It's just when we just got off the coach at Twickenham for first game in the Prem, and uh, when I pulled up on the, on the coach, looked out the window, and I saw about 15, 20 South B lads, I thought, oh no, what are they going to say? So when I jumped off the coach and Robert got out first and they're all screaming my name, all the nicknames I had, which I can't say on camera. So the captain leading the boys into the change rooms, Robert turned around 
Uh, he, obviously, Robert loved it. I was like, Mitch and Joe, you lead the boys in. So obviously, it was a lot of noise just from me and Mitch being local lads. So, yeah, it was pretty special. It was a long walk into the change rooms and to see all the Bristol fans got there early to support us. And then me and obviously my good friend Mitch walking the boys in was pretty special. I actually got pretty emotional there. I wait till I got inside there. So, yeah, that was brilliant, that was. Hmm. This one wasn't very long ago. <laughs> um, also, this was a special day for me, making 50 appearances and scoring a try. It's strange that I've not, I haven't really got the excuse of being a young one anymore. Um, I'm probably the second or third most appearances in the squad. I know I'm only 23, but like you said, we've got a young team. And yeah, it's, uh, those days have been, so say that the, the, apprentice, the apprentice has sort of gone. I've got to step up now and uh, try and be a leader by what I do on the pitch and try and play as many games as I can for Bristol. Oh, this day, obviously, you can see me, Power, and uh, GT. And what's brilliant about this picture is that not just the players, all the staff as well, the SSC staff, the physio staff, the media staff, we're all in it together. And that's one of the best bits about this day is we are all on the pitch. I mean, it's all just happy as one another. And it, it means a lot to all of us that are all at the club. So, yeah, this was a brilliant day. And it showed how tough we were that year. I think towards the end, towards that season, we, we put a big emphasis on culture. I feel like if we achieve it this year, I think it would be similar, probably greater. I think this is probably the tightest environment I've been in at Bristol this year so far. So yeah, I think if we do achieve this this again, it'll be an even better night. And hopefully going into the season after, we'll keep that tight culture. No matter what results we get, we, we stay close and we, st we stay fighting for each other. And uh, it become a brilliant environment to work in because we all want Premiership rugby. And like, like there, you can see it meant a lot to all of us.